Hello students, today we are going to learn about the next topic in chapter 6 that is compaction of soils and soil exploration. Coming to the contents, it deals with the factors affecting the compaction. What are the different factors which are affecting the compaction like water content of the soil, amount of compaction, type of, a, type of the soil which is being compacted, the amount of compaction energy which is used for the compaction, <laughs> the method of compaction used, the thickness of the layer which you are compacting, saturation line, what are the admixtures used for the compaction and the stone content. Let us briefly know about two or three content, uh, factors which are affecting the soil compaction. Coming to the first one that is water content. How the water content is affecting the compaction? So what happens generally when water is added to a soil at low moisture content, it generally acts as a softening agent on the soil particles and it becomes easier for the particles to move past one another during the application of the compacting forces. So as the soil compacts the voids which are reduced and this causes a dry unit weight to increase. What about the type of the soil compacted? Generally, soil type, grain size, shape of the soil grains, amount and type of clay minerals present and the specific gravity of the so soil salads have a very great influence on the dry unit weight and the optimal moisture content. So, uniformly graded soil, uniformly graded sand or poorly graded uh, sand in nature is very difficult to compact. So, generally what happens in the poorly graded sands? The unit uh, dry weight initially will decrease because the moisture content is increasing and then increases to a maximum value with further increase in the moisture content. But what happens at the low moisture content due to the capillary tension which inhibits the tendency of the soil particles to move around and they are compacted. So at a given moisture content a clay with low plasticity will be very weaker than a heavy or high plastic clay so that it will be very easier to the compact. Coming to the effect of compaction effort. So, compaction effort is nothing but the compaction energy per unit volume which is used by the standard Proctor test. So, it is given by a mathematical formula that is E is equal to number of blows per a a a layer and number of into number of layers into weight of the hammer which you are using for compaction and height of the drops by uh, which height you are dropping divided by volume of the mould on which you are using this compaction effort. Thank you.